Hello everybody and welcome back to Test Drive Unlimited 2. I'm your host Valenfor and in today's episode we are going to complete the C3 Championship which I have uh, quite thankfully driven to off camera. It was a long drive but we got here in the end and here we go. We're now on the way to Hawaii for the last of our classic car competitions. Which of our two favorites will triumph? Tune into Solar Crown to find out. And we know exactly who's going to triumph, don't we, guys? It is going to be me. So, what have we got? We've got two time trials. We have two races. We have a speed trap. We have a speed race. We haven't seen one of those in a while. And we've got an eliminator again. All in all, that looks like two, four, six, seven races. So, we will start as always with the time trials let's see how we get on hopefully no rain this time because that was really annoying last time tick tock tick tock tick tock time is passing by and we need to hurry up let's meet the candidates for this timed challenge Right, so here we go. We've got to beat 2 minutes, 45 seconds, and a number of milliseconds. Hopefully the rain not being on the road should allow us to stay on time this time. Too many uses of the word time in our sentence, that's not good. Ooh. There's a nice bend coming up here, so I'm a little bit, again, a little bit, as I was mentioning earlier, concerned about these time trials and the fact that there's not much leeway. You pretty much got to keep your foot straight down on these. Ah, oh, come on, get off! Oh my God, too long. Sorry, guys, we're going to restart that because that was terrible. Let's let's try this again, shall we? Yeah, there is literally coming up on these there is no room or margin for error. You've got to get it right. And you've got to get it right on the first first time. You can't muck up at any point during these races. Just a little bit annoyed by the fact that it keeps making us that's better. I think that was better than the last time. So, um, yeah, let's try this again, okay. We do have to slow down for these corners though, because otherwise we will end up going off like we did last time. But that is already doing a lot, lot better than we did last time. Not massively, just somewhat better. Okay. Um, so anyway, I think once we've uh, completed these races on this championship, oh my god, we're slowing down already, what's going on? Um, we will be heading towards B3 and getting those complete as well. Uh, probably not in today's episode though, I think probably looking at this, uh, this championship will fill out the majority of our time here today. Oh, don't, don't lose control now, thank you. Come on, speed up. I didn't quite notice exactly how badly we were behind in time there. But um, as you can see, perhaps this long patch of straight might end up allowing us to make time here. Fingers crossed, eh? It's a nice long patch of straight. Whoa, spoke too soon. It was a nice long patch of straight. With a big ass curve in the road. Hey, there we go. We've actually made some time there. Good. Good. There was me fretting, thinking that uh, perhaps we wouldn't end up making enough time, but we have. So we've just got to make sure we don't muck up here. 
and hopefully we will neck this one. So yeah, really don't like Miami, so we're just going to uh, absolutely whoop her on this entire race. There we go, good. We uh, succeeded, we're in first place. Boom. Scratch one race off that list. On with the next race. How are we doing with this one? Fairly long race again, hey the looks there. of things. What drama! Apparently, the Wilder brothers are squabbling with Stewart again. The pressure of the competition is really starting to show. Okay. Nice, slow, steady start again, please. Thank you. So, I think uh, again on this one, uh, not quite the first attempt. Um, from the last race but we will go on the basis that even if we end up losing time at the beginning we'll just keep going because we may end up making it um, a bit further on in the race. I'm just gonna keep my foot down and hope for the best. Nice bend coming up here. Slow down for this one. go. That may have just slowed us down a teeny bit. We might be a little bit behind. Oh, oh we're just a little bit in front. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. And there's what looks like a shallow bend here. Yep. Yeah. It's not too bad. Although, a nasty bend coming up. Whoa! Is it me or does this car remind anyone of the DeLorean from uh, Back to the Future? It does me a little bit. Right, okay. Still ahead on time wise, but uh, only by a little bit. And that hill will have slowed us down somewhat. Um, coming up to a nasty bend again. I wish some of these bends were a little bit nicer. Or, or perhaps that the cars would actually turn a bit better. Right, how are we doing? Oh, we're behind by 33. Milliseconds, okay. Let's see if we can't make some time up here. Twenty-seven milliseconds, we're on the hill again, that's gonna slow us down. What it does mean is that we're going at a decent speed that we can actually take these corners now. Maybe not this one. <laughs> oh no, no, okay, maybe. Thirty milliseconds. Yeah. This might be a little bit on the slow side, guys. We might end up having to settle for second here. Ooh, ooh, dude. What was it? Second. By how much? Oh, look at that. Fine. We, do you know what? We'll take it. Second is fine. Let's move on. You've won this round. Miami. God damn you. Right, okay. So this one, speed. Again, I'm going to go on the basis that we need to get around a thousand miles power. Uh, sorry, a thousand points. Of anticipation before this epic confrontation begins. What surprises will Solar Crown give us this time? And uh, let's just stay on this road. This is the road they've given us. So this is the road we will stay on. Hopefully it won't bend all over the place and we should get a fairly decent score. He says the points aren't going up very quickly though. So come on. Okay, as I say, we need to be aiming for about a thousand points I would imagine. And we need to try and avoid as many cars here as possible because they will end up slowing us down. <clears throat> so, this can't be doing the car any good, all these bumps in the road. Yeah, 
I just slowed down there for a second just to get the uh, speed going up again because all of those bumps had actually slowed our car down and it wasn't accelerating for some reason. Not sure why. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're about to hit 1,000. Boom! Oh, uh, see, look at that. It slowed us down terribly. Fingers crossed, guys. First, please. Boom! Nice. I knew we had to aim for a thousand, so there we go, that's good. So, that's another one bites of dust. Right, let's head up to the speed trap and get this one done as well. We have five radars to uh, pass through. The engines are heating up on the starting line. The final moments of anticipation before this epic confrontation begins. What surprises will Solar Crown give us this time? And uh, I think what we're going to do here is head up to two, swing back round for piss off Miami, swing back round for three. At least I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, head from three to four, and then turn around and hit uh, one and five. So here we go, here's a nice bend in the road here. And the AI seem to have stopped, which uh, is a little bit worrying for me. I don't like it when they do that, and they just stop like that. Okay, they're going a different route, so we're going to hit this one. That's a hundred. Spot on, one ton. I'm going to hit number four next, and then I'm going to swing back round and do one and five, which does mean we're going to end up hitting the competition right in the fanny. But. Okay, my car is stuck. <laughs> I got right under those, uh, those girders or whatever they were. Not good. Right, okay. So that's two, three, and four that we've hit there. You can see the NPCs or AI drivers coming around here. Let's hit this one. Let's make sure we stay on the right. We should avoid all the. No, bloody Miami. In the way. There we go. We're still in first. we shall swing back round and try and pass through one again and get a better score than 65 miles an hour which should be obtainable we should just get there as the time's running out um, let's see if we can't top 111 but I doubt that we will top a ton will be good for me though boom that's how we roll supposedly and another one bites the dust. Fantastic. Onwards and upwards. We'll do this race next. It's a fairly long race. Um, I hope that's not a lap. Or if it is, is two laps swing. would be nice. Suspense is at an all-time high. Who will win this race? <clears throat> nope. Although we might end uh, end up in the same area that we started in, this is definitely not a lap race. This is just one. Well, what looks like just one way round. It's just a fairly long race by the looks of things. I think that was nine miles. This is going to take us a little bit of time to get round. It's all part of the experience. So let's do this. Ah. That wasn't part of the experience though. That might end up slowing the uh, AI down a little bit. Where 
Alley. It's just behind me. Let's go cut that corner there. And the uh, AI have been caught by some traffic back there. Love it when that happens. Woohoo! We've just found the hairdressers. <laughs> Not something to be excited about. Believe you me. Right. Ooh, nice hairpin here. That's uh, is that one done? We have four checkpoints to go. I'm just glad that it's not raining anymore because uh, didn't like that one bit. Too much rain in this game. And uh, I don't know if anyone can see, but the AI appear to be catching up. Well, they have seemingly slowed down now. But, um,. It's the rubber band effect, guys. As I said, they did get massively caught up on um, on that traffic back there, where we are steadily moving forwards time-wise. But um, I'm always wary that we may end up getting caught up fairly quickly by these uh, these AI racers. And who actually is behind us? Tess, ah, followed closely by Miami, okay. And here we go, we are first. Boom. There we go. Let's move on. And we have our next race, and then it's just the Eliminator that's standing between us and the end of the classic I wonder if anyone championships. will be able to compete with me today. I'm feeling in top form. And then that is the last that we will have to see of classic cars until we hit the Miami Cups. Sorry, not the Miami Cups, the Hawaii Cups. Still calling them Miami. Even when they're not. There we go. Just going to do the same with Tess over here. Maybe not. Okay, so here we go. Checkpoint two is done. Although, interestingly, I think you've already gone through a checkpoint as you start, which is a bit odd, but hey ho. Right, here's the next one. A little bit of braking, and we are through. I'm pretty sure this was um, on one of our time trails, this uh, this bit here, and I think we shot left at this uh, at that uh, corner back there. Almost certain. Oh god, this is a horrible road. I hope roads aren't like this in Hawaii. These um these races actually do remind me a lot. Whoa! What happened there? These um tight technical tracks remind me a lot of the um I think they were refer referred to as X races. If someone could confirm that for me, that would be great. X races in um, Need for Speed Underground, which were also based on tight technical tracks. Hated those again. 
but at least your car ended up going where you wanted it to in uh, Need for Speed. Right, and we're on to the final race. Win this, and that's the championship done and dusted. Now, that's overall distance of 9.4 miles, but it does look like a very, very small hey there. What circle. Drama. So this Apparently, shouldn't take us too long. The brothers are squabbling with Stuart again. The pressure of the competition is really starting to show. Right, okay, let's do this. This should be a fairly quick race, as I was saying. Although there are quite a few checkpoints, but uh, it looks like a fairly small lap. It's just around a tiny little village by the looks of things. Tess is, Tess is wanting to win this one. She's uh, just behind me. Yeah, she's not letting up that one. That's uh, round one, or lap one done. And sorry, Adam, but you are out of here. See you later. So far, so good. Again, the girls are just behind me. Isn't it odd how, uh, and I uh, don't read too much into this comment, I'm not being sexist, I promise. But in this game, particularly, how come it's the girls that are always in front and it's all of the guys that are in the back. Very, very odd. Why did the game developers make the girl drivers in this game better than the male drivers? Okay, there goes Chris Wilder. And uh, if um, I was about to say, if uh, Tess's dad doesn't pull his finger out, he's going to be next. But he has just jumped position, and it's Andrew Sullivan in last position now. But of course, all of that could change. Let's see what happens. go. Lap 4 starting now. Oh, and it's not going to be Andrew now. By the looks of things, it's going to be Ryan. So both the Wilder brothers will be out. There you go. While the brothers have left the building <laughs> or the race. <laughs> Tell you what, today um, it's been a really nice day today. I've been out for a, a walk with friends um, and it was really nice, but uh, the weather's been ever so sunny today and uh, I have made the mistake of not drinking an awful lot during the day and uh, I think I've perhaps caught the sun a little bit and uh, a little bit of a headache at the moment but um, 
I've already downed quite a few pints of uh, of water, not alcohol. Bad thing to do when you're um, dehydrated is to uh, drink alcohol. Been uh, topping up the fluids with uh, with water, and uh, hopefully it will shift this headache. I generally uh, do a lot of my recording in the evenings. Just in case anyone wanted to know that. <laughs> so, we are almost through on this now. Boom. That's two laps to go, guys. As long as I don't make any bad mistakes here, we should continue to remain in the lead. There goes Tess's dad. And uh, I can tell you this much. If Miami doesn't put her foot down and pull her finger out, She's going to be end up next out of the race. And it's just going to be between myself and Tess, who is supposed to be the leader of the asphalt style race. She's not supposed to be this good at classic. But hey ho, that ends up helping me out. But um, as I've mentioned in previous videos, and as I'm sure you can perhaps not with the races that contain the AI themselves, but certainly um, those time trials, they are starting to amp up the difficulty. Um, whereas before I was coming in first all the time, as you can quite clearly see, we've, uh, we've now in two of the races come second rather than first which whilst again as I, I mentioned in yesterday's episode isn't a massive problem because we can quite happily deal with coming in second in I think two races per championship obviously it doesn't make we, we want to be coming in first we want to be proving to everyone that we're a good driver here so Luckily, it doesn't it doesn't involve anything towards the uh, achievements or trophies in this game. You just have to complete the championships in order to earn the trophies. And boom, championship complete. There you have it, guys. Miami will be furious. Can nothing stand in the way? A resounding victory for our challenger in this classic championship. But she hasn't got a car to lose this time. So there you go. That's the championship done and dusted. So guys, in the next episode we will be looking to start the B3 championship, which is over here. And we are going to work our way through those and then the B3 high championship. Once that one's complete we will be working on the A5 and the A5 high and then the A4 and finally the A4 high. Once all of those are done it should unlock the first of the Hawaii Cups and we'll be uh, working our way through those as well and then once all of that is done we have just got to obtain the A3, A2 and A1 licenses, complete their respective championships and it is the final Hawaii 2 Cup and that, my friends, will be game complete. So I would imagine uh, off the top of my head that we are probably going to be looking at around maybe 15 episodes before the end of this series. 
But uh, let's not dwell on that right now. Guys, if you've liked this episode, then please leave a like, uh, comment as well, as uh, I love to hear how everyone is doing. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please subscribe. It helps to build the channel. Guys, enjoy those meals. Thanks and good night. Much love. I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.